Today, I'm going to be making hyena poop. This <laughs> recipe was sent to uh, me from Georgian. Georgian uh, watches all of our videos, and, and so we really appreciate Georgian. She sent me a bunch of stuff to review and just gifts and stuff like that. But all you need are five ingredients to make the hyena poop. You need one and a half pounds of almond bark, which is a package, and Kevin has already broken it up in the package for me because it's really hard to break up. And then you need a fourth cup peanut butter. I'm using Jif Creamy Peanut Butter. You need three and three-fourths cups of Rice Krispie cereal. You could use the Walmart brand, whatever. I'm using Rice Krispie brand. Two and a fourth cups miniature marshmallows. And two and a fourth cups... Georgian uses salted Spanish peanuts. I'm using salted cocktail peanuts because we like cocktail peanuts. We don't so, like the skins. We don't like the skins. So, um, although I'll eat them, but I like cocktail peanuts better. So, this recipe is has you use the oven for all of this. We're not going to use the oven. Uh, we're going to be using the microwave. So, what you want to do is we're going to take our almond bark and we're going to put it in our bowl. Big bowl. A big bowl. We're going to melt it in the microwave. And it tells you usually, um, yeah, you, uh, you microwave it at full power for 60 seconds. And then uh, stir thoroughly. And then continue to heat in 15 second increments until the product is smooth. So once that is smooth, we are going to add our peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Microwave it again for maybe another 30 seconds. And stir it in. And then we will be back. This is our melted almond bark and peanut butter. You want to add your Rice Krispies to this. And then also your marshmallows and your peanuts. And while she's stirring that up, let me tell you, I put the almond bark in for a minute and 15 seconds, put the peanut butter in there, and then did it for another 30 seconds, and that was pretty much ready to go. The bowl's just barely big enough, isn't it? Yes, you need a big <laughs> bowl to do this. And then I have parchment paper. Um, the recipe says, I think, wax paper. You know, growing up, we always had wax paper. Yeah, we didn't use parchment paper until me and you got together. Yeah, this. Kevin and I always use uh, uh, parchment paper because you could use it for everything. So wax paper, you can't use for everything. Parchment, you can't put it in the oven. Right, parchment paper, you can use it for everything. So why not just use it from the get-go? So I'm going to pull this out. In the directions... Kevin, do they say like blob it on like cookies or? Use a tablespoon or a small serving spoon and then drop mouthfuls of the mixture in the wax paper. Well. And then let it, let it sit for an hour. This is a serving spoon. Yeah, it said either one. And so, I would say you can put it in piles or spread it. Oh yeah, it spreads out pretty good anyway. This recipe made 32. These have been sitting here. They probably didn't need to sit here as long as they have. They've been sitting here for probably 25 minutes, but truly I wondered, are they gonna set up at all? But they do, <laughs> they're perfect. So you don't want to put them in the refri refrigerator, I don't think, because if you do, it's going to make the Rice Krispies, uh, the cereal mushy. Um, but you can tell by looking at them, some have more marshmallows than others. Yeah, some like are, this one doesn't have a lot. Yeah, this one doesn't have a lot. Some are flatter than others. It's just like this one. This is like a baby one. Um, but look at that almond bark on the bottom. But they they look beautiful, and so they, I think, are going to be absolutely delicious. So I'm going to get some on this plate, and then we'll take them over to the table and give them a try. So, I wondered why they called this hyena poop. So, I may have Googled that. And don't Google that. Don't Google it. But it's, it's white. From the pictures I saw, it's white. And, of course, you're going to have Spanish peanuts, which is going to have little, little, like, dark areas. But... Kind of like eating corn. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, here we go. This oh. looks wonderful to me. Mm. 
Favorite one of the marshmallows. It's good and squishy. I love those peanuts. It does want to fall apart a bit. I like this a lot. It's very sweet. It's sweet, but honestly, I don't think it's over the top sweet. It's not like eating buttercream frosting. No, but it's pretty sweet. I'll get it later. I heard it hit the floor. <laughs> um, it's very it's as sweet as the it's as sweet as the almond bar. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, the almond bar's raw your sweetness kind of thing. So if you know what almond bar tastes like, you know that level of sweetness. Yeah, you're not getting any sweetness from the Rice Krispies or the peanut butter. Or really. the peanut butter. I mean, the peanut butter. Yes, it has sugar in it, but it's not like it's sweet, sweet because it's peanut butter. Um, the miniature marshmallows are going to have some sweetness, but um, most of your sweetness is coming from the almond bar. I like these quite a bit. I can tell They're you. They're very good. Um, I wasn't planning on even mentioning this, but I'm going to. Um, we bought, Walmart was out of Planters brand uh, peanuts. So we bought the great value Walmart brand cocktail peanuts. That has a big tub. They're not as salty. Even though they're salted cocktail peanuts, they are not as salty as Planters. Mm -hmm. So would I buy the great value brand again? I wouldn't. There's nothing wrong with them. They still work. And honestly, they're, they're, they're better in this recipe because they're covered in almond bark than they are on their own out of the package. They're still good peanuts, but they're not as salty. And, so, and it would have salted this up a little bit more if uh -huh. you use those as well. Yeah, so just know, I think if you're going to do this, I would use name brand peanuts. Yeah, and yeah. you do taste the peanut butter, even though there really wasn't a lot of peanut butter in there. No, only a fourth you, of a cup. You can taste it. I mean, definitely mm -hmm. you get the flavor of it. You do. It's so, not the main flavor, but you do taste it. Yeah, George Ann, thank you. Very this good was recipe. like quick, easy. This very, is something you could make and give out for a Christmas present. You could, and it's delicious. I, I love it. This is something that is dangerous because you can snack on it all day long. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.